all this week, we have been praying and fasting, crying out to the Lord to see his hand moving on our behalf. We have gone through the book of Acts, looking at the miracles that God did in the early church to feed our own faith and be encouraged to believe God for miracles in our own lives, families, and ministries. As we come to the end to of our week of prayer and fasting and our study of the book of Acts, we see that at the end of the book of Acts, there are many kinds of miracles that seems not to be happening as much, like there's not as many healings. And the reason is because Paul has been put in prison and he's limited in his ability to minister to others. But in the midst of those hardships that Paul was facing, we can see a kind of miracles happening over and over again. And we are talking about the miracles of protection. Protection is the kind of miracle that with some, we need it so much, yet often it seems to be overlooked. But the author of the book of Acts makes it clear that God's providence was protecting Paul from the schemes of the enemies as he was moving forward, fulfilling the mission that God had called him to do. What had happened is that as soon as Paul decided to go to Jerusalem and from Jerusalem to Rome, it looked like the enemy tried every scheme possible to stop that from happening. Yet God came to Paul in different ways, reassuring him that he was being called to minister in the capital of the world of the time, Rome. With the assurance of God's calling, he keeps pressing forward till he appeals to Rome to be judged in Rome by Caesar himself. On the way to Rome, he had to experience a shipwreck. He goes to through so many hardships till finally after su surviving a shipwreck in God protecting him, saving his life and the life of the men that were with him, he arrives to the island of Malta. When he's in Malta, the, the locals help them and they put up a fire. And as Paul is picking up sticks to burn in the fire, a snake bites his hands and it's sticks to it, holding from it. At this time, it Paul seems to be sure I have to fulfill God's mission. He just shakes it off and continues with his life. The men, the locals, looking uh, at what had happened, their first reaction was the most common form of theology. The theology that if misfortunes happen to you, then the gods, in this case, justice, must be punishing you for something you have done. But Paul knows better, and he knows that the enemy is trying to stop him, but God is protecting him towards the whole journey. He just shakes it off and continues uh, with the rest of the men. When the people see that nothing happened to him, then they start thinking he's a God. But through that miracle, the doors had opened for him to minister to the whole island. And many people get healed and people get saved. And yes, in a stop towards fulfilling his ultimate mission. This is what happens. Protection and mission are intertwined. We see God's hand protecting us so that his calling may be fulfilled. And the story of Malta illustrates what happens when we have been called by God and the enemy tries to hinder the mission of God. Ever since our early fathers in the Garden of Eden, the serpent was trying to stop God's mission. Our first fathers, our first parents, they fell into the scheme of the enemy. But later on, Jesus Christ, the Bible says, he stepped on the head of the serpent, overcoming it and offering those who are involved with him in his mission, protection from all the schemes of the enemy. The story of Malta illustrates this great, great truth 
The enemy is trying to stop God's mission, and therefore it's attacking those who are trying to fulfill it. Yet, God is protecting us so that his mission may be fulfilled. Wherever you are, you may be facing trial after trial, seemingly attack after attack from the enemy. Maybe you have been facing, like Paul, prison for the cause of the gospel and all kinds of misfortune that come your way just trying to keep you from doing what God has called you to do. But let me reassure you from what the word promises us, Jesus overcomes. Jesus has overcome the serpent and that old serpent will finally be set on the lake of fire. Meaning while we may experience those attacks of the enemy, but we will experience as well the protection of God. As we go on fulfilling the mission that God has put in our lives, let me pray that you will see the hand of God covering your life and protecting you from all the schemes of the enemy. Let us pray. Father, I pray for my every nation family. I pray for every person in every corner of the earth that you will embolden them with the mission of God to reach every nation, every campus that you have put, uh, that you has, have called us to reach. Father, I pray that as they go, no scheme of the enemy will prosper, but they will see your hand covering them and supporting each one of us in fulfilling your mission. In Jesus' name, amen.